You got it. Base 8, 9, and 10 sealed. Scaffold decks A, B, C secure. All systems green. What a beautiful sight. This is Fleet Command. Reporting Mothership pre-launch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S online. Scaffold control, stand by for alignment. Alignment confirmed. Stand by, release control. Stand by for command line testing. Command line green, initial fleet in position. What's up, y'all? What's up? You're gonna come into this sparkling black rectangle because I haven't typed in my information yet. And don't see a side of the audio waves to figure out what keys I was typing. I don't want anyone getting my password. It wasn't the right one. Hmm. Caps looking on me. Yeah, it wasn't on my home row. You know how it is. When we see a horde of people like VidCon. Are you talking about the, the hit convention Lawrence Con? Yes! Why would there be anything but? What's up, everybody? Square Enix. Still doing it. Hey, Jess. The room came out today. The room came out today. You mean like the movie? The movie's been on. Hey, it was good, sure, you king. Just realized I picked my colors right. I'm all matching. You get tickets to Lawrence Con? I don't know, Captain Under Your Pants. Despite being called that, uh, I am I am not affiliated in any official way with Lawrence Con. <sighs> How was Lawrence Con? It didn't happen yet. It's coming up. VidCon was pretty cool. So I don't know... It's weird. Um, I think I got to enjoy the benefits of being in a much higher tier of YouTube stardom than I actually am. Um, but they provided a lot... A lot... Of... Uh, niceties to their featured creators which man you know what they say money can't buy you happiness but goddamn a fucking massage in the middle of the day sure can yeah the youtube lounge had masseuses so yeah vidcom was pretty great only because i got for some reason it's you know, like what <laughs> all these people floating it's like occasionally in your life you might get upgraded to first class and you're like oh shit here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna drink all the little mini bottles of gin that i could find and when I run out, I'll ask. Uh, oh shit. Brian Jope. Um, Brand Jope. Wait, I hope. Brand J. Oh, there's so many ways I could say that. 
That's a two-year sub, which means I'm going to play a song for you. Reader, I'm doing good. That's a two-year sub hype. You know what? The occasion calls for it. Bust out your your finest, finest Wita Majana, my dude, which is a word, I promise. So I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop a smooth jam on that ass. That two year ass. Ew, God, fuck, I shouldn't say that. Alright, didn't say that. Roll that one back. You've give you've been giving me money for two years, so I'm gonna play this song for you. Please enjoy. That's not even it. That's not even the end of the song, bro. Not even the end. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. It gets better and better. Oh, that's a lot of money you gave to me for no reason. Thank you for that. I'm gonna drop a colon D on that chat. Free companies love the colon D. But yeah, there's an emote to float. Which I guess kind of looks like that. Oh, boy. Again, Final Fantasy XIV, just a fucking playground of delights. Um, you get to see a bunch of people just in like ridiculous anime clothes just floating, staring at the stars, wondering what it's all about. That's the thing, guys. Wondering what it's all about is what it's all about. <sighs> Look at him just floating, thinking about stuff. That guy's upside down. It's probably not good. Nah, he's alright. He's just, he's just goofing. He's a goofer. Who's this guy? Hello, Evalara Faith. Jesus Christ, you sound like an anime. Look like one, too. Just floating. <laughs> awesome. This game fucking rules. What's up, Ops? Nice to see you. They were playing Cat on the Hat on TV. You shouldn't have thought of me. You should have thought of B. Beham was the one who, uh, who let me know that Cat in the Hat is some hot trash. Yeah, I got, I got nothing but pearls of wisdom when I play my anime games. How many hours you put in this game so far? Oof. Uh, if you know offhand what the what the uh, time command is, I don't know what it is. It's not it's not slash played. Yeah, that's some WoW stuff. Game time? No. Time. Uh, no, it's nothing. I don't know. Uh, my name is dumbass. So wait, is your name my name is dumbass, or should I just call you dumbass? I don't know. Does it matter if you watched that as a kid in theater? You felt bad for your parents? Wow. Did did you like? Time played? I mean, play time. I tried that. Oh, there it is. Oh, I don't know if you guys can read that. So, 20 days, 23 hours, and 34 minutes. Fuck. That's over 500 hours, I think? Well, let me I'm gonna just pop up a little calculator here. 20, 20. Yep, 503 hours. Yeah, I mean, that may not all be, like... Hardcore gamer time, you know? Some of the most stuff is just like it's on. You're fishing while you're watching a TV show. That's how you do it. Almost three days? What do you mean? Almost 30 days. Yeah, getting there. Shit. <sighs> Sometimes it's. In those moments, you're pushing 300 days. Fuck. That's intense. Oh, hold on. There's a, got a window. Ca calculator window is covering part of, part of chat. Makoto Velvet, I imagine you've done pretty much everything. I, I've wondered about that. Is it possible to do everything? Like, max out all the crafting, max out all the classes, run everything in, go like, Gold Saucer, do all of the Beast Tribe stuff, PvP to the nines. I don't know, man. I My mind can't even wrap around doing all of that. It is possible to max everything out. Oh. I wonder, huge time sink, of course. Uh, what's your past experience with MMOs? I used to play pretty much all of them, um, but I've pretty much shriveled to this one since. Uh, I mean, I played all the big ones out the start. The only one I didn't was EverQuest, but I did like The Realm, Ultima Online, Dark Age, Dark Age of Camelot, Asheron's Call, um, some of the different ones like uh, Earth and Beyond was one of my favorites in like the early 2000s. Uh, well, blah, blah, blah. Played Vanguard for a bit, a very short bit. I don't know. I tried a lot of them in the early days, but uh, once World of Warcraft came out, 
a lot of them were just World of Warcraft. Like, not as good World of Warcraft. So the, the interest was kind of gone at that point. It was really fun in the early days to see each game had a wildly different approach to things like uh, progression systems and, and content discoverability and stuff. Played 15 for my first Final Fantasy and absolutely fell in love with it. Cool, dumbass. Uh, you might you might try playing some of the older ones. Um, they have some out on mobile. They're not the best ports, but they're there. Enough to get the story, I think. I don't bother with Gold Saucer much. Before expansion, dropped my... D-O-W-D-O-L, War and Land, or Max. I only had done all the raids except Midas. I haven't done Midas. Oh, Maple Story. I played Maple Story a little bit. Wildstar. Yeah, that was... Boy. I wonder whose money... Specifically, which company or which person's money got burned alive to make Wildstar. I'm gonna go try 9 next. Heard that. 7 is where it's at. Yeah. That's a... Yeah, those are good picks. I would say 9, 7, and 6 are probably the, the hot ones you want to try out. If you liked 15. Yeah. Yeah. When you first started taking calculus, do you remember any strategies for remembering derivative formulas and rules besides practicing and developing an instinct? Well, I mean, I mean, sure, some people have mnemonics, but that's individual to each person. I don't think I could suggest ones that would work for you. Um, just try until you can form an association. For me, yeah, it was just sort of... Yeah, it was more like, I, I, you think about them like tools, like, you have a toolbox in your mind, right? And each one of those is a tool, and you can remember, like, a hammer from a screwdriver, from a saw. For me, it was kind of like that. It sort of became like, I could look at a, I guess I got pretty good at pattern recognizing the sorts of tools they wanted me to solve certain problems. You can just kind of tell by the way it's distributed. It's like, like that. So it's like, okay, that's... The parentheses are clumping these these units together, so it kind of looks like they want me to like um, to simplify that before I like probably gonna have to divide on both sides because I see like the same variable appearing there and there. So odds are that's what I'll have to do. It's sort of like trying to put yourself in the the mindset of the person who wrote the problem. Kind of like you have to sort of think of like a game designer to solve some game problems. So yeah, I don't know that I have a a, a linchpin for you, but that's what worked for me. Wiser Panda says, I always find it funny how people view you as obnoxious and po as possible and actually hate your character because of how creepy you are. Now that translated to the people that follow you. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I never thought much about that specifically, but... I don't know. The people that show up in Twitch chat, at least, are pretty chill. So, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe it's because... The people who can get past, and I get it, man. The people who can get past, like, the the first impression. Maybe hope that I'm not just 100% that person. Hello, Lee Bishop. And by that person, I mean just, you know, like a, a one-dimensional obnoxious nerd. I do have those tendencies, for sure. I missed some text here. Ill birds primal. I was just deciding that they got to do something. <sighs> yeah. Thought this a foregone action. Yeah, we kind of blew up a whole robot already, but hey, man, if you're on board now, fine. Oh, Ishtol is gonna stay in the in the nursery. And so we'll Kreel Kreelie. Graduated as a network administrator. Any advice? Oh, and get a job and make a shitload of money. And work all the time. The problem is many many people can't see past the characters you guys portray. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. I mean, I I wouldn't ask them to, you know? Some people just want entertainment. They don't want to, like, fucking seek deep understanding of some human. I don't want to do that. So I'm playing video games. I don't have to get to know anybody. Did you enjoy Nier Automata? I haven't started it yet. Uh, I got Nier back there. I, I feel like one Saturday I'm just going to dedicate to Nier and knock it out. Speaking of knocking out... Uh, Cubs isn't around, but I uh, I picked up Assassin's Creed Unity again, and I think I'm actually pretty close to ending that game. It's going to be one of those games that it took me like two and a half years to finish. It'll be nice to finally get moving through the Assassin's Creed series again. I got, what, four months to beat three games? Oh, yeah. They added dialogue options. I mean, they've had them before, but they're meaningless. Uh, I guess it's whatever, Final Fantasy. I guess I can appreciate the the nods to that. 
To be frank, Alfie, this isn't my fight, but I will do what I must. Nah. My little bro, he's a tussler. Our fight! The Empire poses too great a threat! You tell him, little guy. Rob, job, 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 job. Oh. My name is Ramos. Ramos? Thank you. Thank you for the Prime sub. Unity ran so horribly for me? Yeah, Branjope, I was... Fired it up on the old Xbox, and it... It chunked all over the damn place. It was... It was playable. Like, the only times it would chunk were when I was running, and all I'm doing is holding up and A. Or, sorry, up and right trigger. So it doesn't really matter that... The performance takes a shit in those situations. Like, it doesn't change anything. It's just kind of annoying on the eyes. When you do start Automata, get all the achievements. Worth it IMO for the feels. Do you... Is each achievement sort of tied to some story event? Should I... Hmm. Is achievement hunting worth it in that game? In which case, I might get it on Xbox. I don't know why. Whenever, I guess that's just where all my achievement hunting happened. So if I want to do it again, it's usually just on Xbox. I can't even imagine achievement hunting on PC. That would just be sad. You don't, even, you don't even get cards or anything. Altruistic Fish. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Mm. My character's wearing a crop top. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool dude. I got better armor, and this is what it looks like. So you can see my gross, like, teardrop body. Fat little hips. My dude rules. Man, hairless pits too. God, that's such a weird combo. Soul patch, no armpit hair. Man, my, my bro lives right. Everything in order. My boy's not a mess. No, Clouderoth, <laughs> Cephaloud. He is the, the cleanest boy. Cleanest boy in Eorzea. You're not the true Wonder Woman? What? Wonder, Wonder Woman don't have no goatee? Come on. MSAC multiplayer? Watching an old Achievement Hunter video then playing for 45 years ago. Yeah! Achievement Hunter multiplayer was- or sorry, Assassin's Creed multiplayer was solid. Like a really good adaptation of the Assassin's Creed gameplay. I, I always felt like it was a- Ubisoft never really got their due with- It's like everybody just saw the game and was like, oh it's exactly the same again. And never really appreciated the modes that they would add or something like that. Like, Unity had four-player co-op, and it worked. It worked. It worked pretty good. And yeah, what was it? Black Flag had... No. One of the... Was it Brotherhood? Had multiplayer? But it was fun. It was fun, and I thought pretty great. It was like the ship. Which is a, such a great uh, application of... Assassin's Creed stuff. I don't know. What I love most about uh, Unity... Like, I'm getting into the harder assassinations at the end. And it's totally the old Assassin's Creed type thing. Where you scout out your location, you use crowds and social dynamics to hide. And you sort of, like, it's got that aspect where you, that, like, almost Far Cry loop. Where you scout, you plan, and you uh, execute. Except they, they, like, combine it all into one mission instead of doing a bunch of information gathering. But yeah... I feel like Unity didn't get a, a really great shake either. Despite having amazing graphics, yes, the performance sucked dick on pretty much everything. Um, PC was jaw-dropping, though. And the gameplay, I thought, was the closest it's gotten to Assassin's Creed 1 since the series started. Which, for me, means I like it the best. Oh, I could teleport there. What's wrong with me? Yes, there's a big burb. This fat chocobo. He wants to eat that. Let's eat those greens so bad. Oh, he's so hungry. I think he can fly, too. Pretty sure I had to buy this amount, but it was worth it. I'll pay any money for you, Fat Chocobo. Look at his little legs. Ah, uh, 14, 14 is great. This game is great. Oh, let me check my old compass, see if there's a Aether current. No, that's way too far away. Never mind. I guess I overlooked Unity with all the game-breaking bugs I kept seeing memes about. 
Yeah, it, it had it was treated roughly by memes, that's for sure. I didn't see anything that bad. No, I take that back. There was a cutscene where basically none of the textures loaded. So all the characters were sort of floating in this ethereal end space talking about stabbing people. You should check Unity. Reader, if you like if you liked Assassin's Creed's one through all the twos, you'd probably like Unity. It's slower, but I like it that way. And the combat... Ugh, another thing that I appreciated about Unity is they'll fucking kill your ass. Like, you can't... You can't uh, parry your way out of all combat. Because they actually... The uh, the parry timings get impossibly short. Um, and their weapons do so much damage, you get hit like two or three times and you're dead. So it's pretty cool. Um, near the end, it's like you have to... Uh, I've just played one where I had to basically... it was I was in a public beheading and I had to assassinate someone. And it was all about, yeah, using crowds to sort of move up to my targets. I could pick off guards and stuff and then just walk away. And then by the time I was gone, they would find the body and the crowd would disperse a little bit. And you could even use that. Like, you could use the movement of people to get to new areas. It was like forming a, a weird bridge of stealth. I don't know. I liked it. It was pretty cool. Gave me those old AC1 feelings again. See here, Assassin's Creed games and Ubisoft games in general always feel too similar to one another, with the towers and unlocked side missions, etc. Yeah, Callum, I, I agree. I think a lot of different developers at Ubisoft landed on certain design principles at around the same time. Oh, you're watching on mobile. How do you lower the chat feed to see the video stream? Uh, huh. The chat's in the way. I don't know. As far as as far as I'm aware, the mobile app you either turn it landscape and then it takes up the whole screen or you hold it um whatever the other one is vertical and uh the video is on top and the chat's on bottom i don't think you can do much more than that joint operation to capture Cal castellum velodyna all right so just catch you bros up on the plot uh Hey, right, Evil Taco Lord, Arna is your favorite assassin? Yeah, I really like him too. Especially, like, I just played through a sort of, like, low point for him in the story. And he kind of turns into a big shithead. I'm like, okay, he actually is, like, changing, and I can kind of buy this. It's working. Alright. Uh. Oh, but yeah, the Ezio arc was pretty cool too. He didn't. Yeah, he just kind of became an old grizzled. grizzled bastard. Um. Oh, yeah, the plot. So. Um, there's this country that's, like, basically getting invaded, but not really. They're, like, getting fucked with a smile. So, this other nation on the other side of them are basically trying to help them prevent that from happening because they don't want the invading nation to be right on their border. Um, and to do that, they sent the warriors, or, sorry, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, which is essentially your Final Fantasy party. So it's us who have above average magic skill and names and custom uh, custom avatars. We've gone in to help them sort of stoke their own independence efforts or their own resistance efforts. So we helped them blow up a uh, prototype prototype magitech thing. There's like a little prototype weapon. And because of that victory, people are starting to actually sign up for the army there. So now we can actually... We've got enough recruits that are being trained. Now we can actually lead an outright attack and apparently recapture a castle. Which is pretty cool. I'm, everyone says Stormblood's story is really good. So I'm partially recapping... Well, mostly recapping for myself, to be honest. Um, if you guys in chat don't give a shit... Sorry, you can just tune out for a sec. Too late, I guess. But yeah, for, I'm just basically trying to summarize it for myself. Because I really want to follow it. Usually with MMOs, I play them so infrequently. Like, I'll play them in bursts when I have free time, which means I'll play, like, for a, a week straight, and then nothing. So I haven't really been able to appreciate the story of this game as much as I wish I could have. Uh, and then also, I've been told by multiple people that the story in Stormblood is aces, like... Legitimately amazing. Way, way beyond what MMOs typically give you in a story. So I'm really, really excited for that. 
Mind of 69. <laughs> All right. Cool. Getting that gear. Greens for perps. We're in that phase. When you play Guild Wars 2, I tried. It was just... It's gonna sound like the dumbest thing. It was too much everything. Man. I started playing and it was like, long ago, in the age of Astral and Umbergera, 20,000 years ago, the block, the block people came. And it was just like, hit me with all this lore, and I'm like, fuck. Alright, alright. Let's go. Start. And it's just, just stuff everywhere. It's like weird cubes and trees, and I just like, oh man. I don't know that I, I don't think I had enough room in my head for another completely made up everything. I just couldn't... Man, I just... I'm out I'm out on the wind here. I, I guess I, I didn't really ever play it. <laughs> I just kind of wandered around the first city lost and then never came back to it. So I didn't really treat it fairly, but at the same time... I don't know. I didn't... just didn't really have a... Have a whole lot of reason to keep trying. A recon mission, you say? So yeah, I think, I don't know, if if the intro or the, the ramp up or anything like that were a little a little lower key, I probably would have been more interested, but, I don't know, time to do what? Play this with a crew or have you done it with randos? Uh, I've got a free company, which is like the guild, this, this game's version of guilds. I'm not really like a power player though. I don't know, the etiquette there, I still don't know, I still don't know. so it's like, I don't really contribute all that much, because I'm typically behind. So it's not like I've I've been there when they're like, "Shit, we need a healer for this dungeon." I'm like, "Here I am." If that happened and I w like felt like I held I healed capably, helped people out, then I'd be a little more uh, likely to ask for stuff. Like, "Hey, I need to get run through this thing." So even though I'm in a free company and they're all super nice, I just feel weird about it because I don't really contribute much. So I typically just use Party Finder and stuff like that. What's up, plus one? I've gotten more to drink and I'm here. Welcome! We tried the Japanese slot pachinko machines here. I did not. Uh, mostly because... Um, I mean, I saw some of them and they look pretty, pretty fucking rad, but... I did not... Tr I didn't trust my ability to figure... Not knowing the basics of pachinko, I didn't trust my ability to figure out how to play... Just by trying to do it. And there were other games where I was like, I want to play that. So there were like straight up a lot of rhythm games and stuff that I had fun playing. You're in Tokyo, Dante Devil? Reader asks, I know that... Uh, what is this? I know people have Nintendo games as nostalgia games, but I never experienced it like that. My nostalgia games are all PC games like Max Payne. What do you think about it? Reader, I think you are... There are more... I think you're more common and more... More of a potential consumer of retro products now than I think people acknowledge or give credit for, if that makes sense. Um, so I would... I think there's a substantial portion of people that have a Switch now, maybe grew up with a Wii, and are like, I never had a Super Nintendo. And maybe... Maybe that stuff is, like, at least in nerd circles, like, cool enough to sort of loop back around, like, retro games. Um, so, I could see a, you know, a portion of... I'm not, I'm not assuming your age here, but I could see a portion of 20-somethings, people who weren't alive when the Super Nintendo was out, getting it just for that experience. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. So yeah, uh, as much as as much as everybody's worried that scalpers are gonna like buy up all the stock, I think, especially when something hits 2.6 million units, scalpers are not the issue. It's it's broad demand. It's actually demanded in the marketplace. Uh, scalpers are an issue with like tickets, something that's in the you know thousands territory. Unless hoarding is just way beyond whatever I thought. Oh, we got a cutscene block. All right. So yeah, I uh, I think Nintendo and didn't really. I know we did our podcast on it, but I you know didn't want to consume too much time waxing on about it. But I think they're they are accepting potentially Disney. They are supernaturally talented at maintaining the value of their creative inventory, and they've been. PS2 had a long tail of relevancy, yeah. Uh, you know, you give it another 10 years and a, and a PS2 Mini, or something like that, would be an incredible 
an incredible thing. People are, you know, I've already, I've already seen PSX mini thrown around or whatever. I am 22. Everything came just too late here, but I was never, in, never interested in retro games. Huh. Are you interested in the SNES Classic, though? <sighs> Another week in Tokyo? Is it, uh, as recommended, you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety? I feel kind of bad streaming a bunch of cutscenes. How was the antagonist in 15? Pretty poor. Not great. Um. <sighs> yeah, not, not very good at all. It's weird because there is a conflict in the narrative that's very good. Um, it's basically like a kingdom on the verge of getting conquered. And the weird shit that goes on there. Um, I liked that. The political aspect was great and I thought tied together well. There's some, some pretty believable drama between the kings of the relative countries and the sort of shitty stuff they do behind each other's backs and stuff. Ah. Oh, reader, you're not interested in retro stuff? Okay. If Breath of the Wild comes to PC, I might try it, though. Okay, there you go. Oh, don't spoil the end. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just... There's... There was like a... There's a... Basically, there was an It Was Me The Whole Time type thing going on. Which I thought was pretty weak, especially since that character is not developed at all. Um, and yeah, I thought I thought the actual more rooted conflict of what was going on didn't need that supernatural aspect. I thought it was plenty fine on its own, but there it was. Whatever. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, maybe this will. I usually don't like to stream cutscenes, but whatever. Skip to Stormblood? No, I played I played through it all. I have played through it all. Excepting that I kind of missed two or three of the quests at the end of Heaven's Word. Excellent. The disposition of the Imperial forces is exactly as expected. I will notify Father. Oh my god, his name is Pippin. I will notify Father. I haven't played any Final Fantasy games, but I love watching you stream it. Is the game worth my time and money? Soldier Nash, I can't really tell you that. Because I don't know how much you'd enjoy it or how much your time or money is worth. Um. Cannon fire! Where did it come from? I like it. But it's it's for it's for me in a lot of ways. Smoke! There! Is that Oh god, it's Ralga's reach. Oh shit. Did they just they just straight up attack? Or we got a traitor on our hands? What's going on here? It's no use. I think someone's jamming our communications. I click forward during the funhouse ad reads. Does that make me a bad person? Not at all, no. Chapsky, we get... We get our... We secure ad reads, or we secure ad deals based on the viewership we have. So if you're watching the video, you're still contributing to our viewership, which helps us get ad, ad sales. Um... Repeat business comes from uh, conversion. So the ratio of how many people you reached versus how many people actually investigated the service and went to the landing page that you give them, things like that. So I don't feel bad, man. As long as you're if you're watching, that's good. You don't think that's good enough. Could this be part of a coordinated attack? I'm first member, so is it cool if I use ad block when watching on YouTube? Sure. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I wouldn't encourage you to violate YouTube's to terms of service in any way. But. We must abort the assault and return to the Reach at once. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, shit, oh shit, oh shit! What's up, Farfic Nugan? I usually watch Funhouse ad reads because they're funny, but other RT stuff where they get samey, I skip it. Yeah, we try to, we try to put some kind of flair into that. Make it so it's not just a. Oh, okay. This is this is her thing. Forward, forward. Damn. Give them no quarter. Yeah. She. Okay. So she's one of the like Empire generals, <gasps> and she's actually, I guess, a native of the country, Alamigo, that the Empire is invading. And no. in a previous cutscene, she was basically given. The blessing by the evil leader guy to do what she wanted to do. To like, hey, you want you want to go kill people? Go do it. 
Uh, so it counts if I just go to the link, or do I have to buy something, if you know? Um, I'm sure going to the link counts. Um, I mean, at that point, it's up to it's up to the client and what they want. Typically, the thinking is, typically, that once, once you've done the thing I ask you to do, um, once you, uh, you go to the website or go to the referral link, it's their job to then convert you into a customer. That's the typical thinking. So if we give people a URL and people go to that URL, it's generally seen as though we did our jobs properly. Generally. But I'm not the one who, who decides that the money was well spent on what metric. That could vary from company to company. Um, so yeah. And just so you guys know, I don't have a whole lot of... I'm not privy to a whole lot of information about that. Mostly because I don't really ask. I could probably ask, but largely... Um, Largely, no news is good news with that, and I'm not told much uh, about the ad reads, so. But yeah, talking about ad reads, uh, I usually can't even tell when they are, because Lawrence has got them good segues. Yeah, under your pants, uh, that is what we're talking about. And I think that with... You're and, no kin of mine! Oh, shit. Similar with open house and stuff. What game is this? Uh, Fexu Magic. This is Final Fantasy XIV. Stormblood. Oh shit! She done killed him, huh? I guess anime slashed him. <laughs> just watch the ads, you lazy asses. Um, Karen subhypes are a thing, just under certain conditions. Mavred! No. Nope. You're not gonna stab her? Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. Hell take you. Fuck. That's pretty cool. <sighs> oh man, he just showed up. Oh damn! He's even wearing his helmet. Well, well. Uh, how long have you been into the Final Fantasy series? Uh, ever since I rented Final Fantasy 3 on Super Nintendo, which was 6. Stand aside, Pilus. This one has promise. Uh oh. Have a care, my lord. She's not like the others. But there was a. Do not disappoint me, girl, or I will kill you. Damn. So I, I was like super fucking into Final Fantasy VI. Um, so over one summer, I through through the glory of emulators, decided to play every Final Fantasy game sequentially. And at that point, the original two had been translated, the original five had been translated. So I was actually able to play through them all. Which at that point, I think eight was the only one out, or the only one or the latest one that was out. And then I played them every time when they come out. So. Every game is the same, but with a new number? Oh, come on, Joker. That's the biggest troll answer ever. Final Fantasy games are incredibly unique. Except for tactics. Maybe you aren't trolling. Maybe you're just wrong. Seven Hells. It's him. It's Xenos. I don't know. I guess, yeah, pre-PlayStation, pre they were all pretty similar. I'll give you that. Oh, you are a dead man! Oh yeah, I heard episode prompto was real good. Oh. Oh come on. He's too big. Cool. So spirited and yet so empty. Man, he's gonna bitch slap you. Yep, there it was. Well, I need to have played the earlier Final Fantasies to understand 14. No. Please run! So that's part of the that's that's one of the weird aspects of the series. They are not canonically related at all. Each game is its own thing, um, with the exception of games that are also series. <laughs> so you know, 13, 13, 2, 10, and 10, 2. Ah, oh, a magical barrier, alas. So a lot of them have like similar themes, and there are things that it, Final Fantasy games have in common, and some like running jokes and things like that. You. 
but they're all in unique settings with unique stories, unique characters, and unique gameplay. You thought they were all connected? A lot of people do, and that's one of the that's one of the struggles. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Cat lady, no! Is she all bloody? Hold the line, Byroga! Hold the line! Yeah, for uh, lucky senpai, this is fourteen. Fuck! Oh, she she just knocked him out though. I was wondering how many people were gonna drop in this particular cutscene. That was rough. <laughs> These tiny little legs. You were there. This Krillier got away. That was some bad long-term marketing. They've tried. They've tried to remedy that. It's weird because it's it's a positive and a negative. Krill. All right. Um. It, it's a it's a positive and a negative. It is a powerful brand, and I think any game would rather be Final Fantasy 16 than um, tier tier of the ever drop or whatever. So there there's some recognition to the name, and I think in in the grand scheme of things, they come out ahead. But yeah, they they it is tough to educate people that these games are in a series we because the we heard they're thematically related, under attack? when no other game really works that way. Dragon Quest is the same thing. Today I found out my new roommate was a top 500 player in Overwatch last season. Fuck yes! You can carry your ass all the way through. Man, you're gonna get so many... So many loot boxes. He has to. He has to. The were all over us before we realized what was happening. No one knew where to run or what to do. Lisa and Master Kemp rallied the guards and brought us enough time to get some of the wounded to safety, but I haven't seen either of them since. No. Confound it. If we lose the reach, this will all have been for naught. Yeah. Ah, uh, special KK. Can you escort these people to the wall? Thank you for the free Amazon money. None of these voices feel like they match the character. What the fuck? Yeah. She looks kind of. Hi, sir. It's been the case as long as I can remember with fourteen. Our place is at the Reach. We must offer such aid and succor as we are able. Saving lives is now our paramount concern. Yeah, I saw that Michael Nyquist passed away. That's a bummer. If we can hold back the Imperials until Father sends reinforcements, we may yet turn the tide. May Grace. I'll join you. I've done all I can for these people, and you'll be crying out for a healer in there. A lot of them got hair in their faces. Come, yeah. there is no time to lose. It's because they're beautiful in anime. Yeah, when it's in the past, they're on an English accent. That's, I mean, that's just universal, right? Basically, if it's anything foreign or fantasy, it's, it's English. I'm gonna save you all. She totally can't be her. She's too cute. Need the resistance. Reinforcements. Got it, buddy. Look to the east. We're here. Oh, well, you're all dead. You were all dead already. Hold on a minute. Drop some fucking. It's drop some shit on you guys. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, whatever. Stormblood, I'd watch it, but I don't want to get spoiled. Yeah, I'm not that far into it, so if you've been playing it at all, you're you're likely further than I am. But I certainly understand the desire to not get spoiled. Do you have in my anime list? I do not. I don't actually watch enough anime to warrant it, sadly. I am a whole four episodes into My Hero Academia, if that tells you anything. Uh, Edie Pyramid heading out on a trip to Chicago on Thursday. Any tips on where I should go? I'm gonna try to not get murdered. Ah. I didn't get murdered, but uh, no, I'm not. I've only been in Chicago like a day total, so I wouldn't. Uh, 
I am by no means a uh, expert on the area. I get in here just killing everybody. Only get around to buying. Ah, I hear you, a nuclear sniper. All right, thank you. Yeah, I love a good stream. Appreciate it. You guys aren't putting up much of a fight. Did you get this on PC or PS4? I'm usually a console gamer, but I have a few PC games and I'm trying to get more into them. Uh. Tough question, I think. I mean, if you want to get into PC, PC's probably the way to go. I think it runs really well on PC. A lot of cool effects and stuff. I played it a little bit on PS4, and it was it's playable, which is, you know, they, they actually put a lot of effort into making it playable on a controller. But when you just don't have the, uh... When you don't have the buttons, you gotta do some weird stuff. There's a lot of, like, holding multiple buttons at the same time on PS4. For the glory of the flames! A lot of switching to different toolbars. Basically, every... Every trigger is a shift key for all of the face buttons on the controller. And the D-pad. So it's like... Hold R2 and hit one of those eight buttons. Hold L2 and hit one of those eight buttons. That's how they can get all of the abilities and stuff onto a controller. It takes a little while to wrap your head around. Um, whereas, at least for me, the WoW template of just having a bunch of stuff mapped to, to buttons works out pretty well. Oh yeah, there's a Portillo's in Chicago. I forgot about that. Yeah, go there. Definitely go there. Man, Portillo's is great. You can clear the highest raids on a controller? Yeah, I don't doubt it. So much of the game is just... just it's not necessarily hitting the right button quickly, but it's standing in the right place and knowing what the attacks are so you know how to dodge them. Oh, Karen, you you got Wolfenstein? Awesome! How far are you? I'm curious. Because, yeah, it's, uh... That game... That game's great. Man, if I had the time, I'd play through it again before Wolfenstein 2 comes out. Season 2 is good. Yeah, I've, I've heard that Season 2 is... Of, uh, my hero is just so damn good. I'm excited to get there. Stephanie seemed like she was kind of getting into it, too. Rebel scum! Infecting her with the anime. Oh yeah, the skulls. It's just like Metal Gear. Yeah, it basically blew all of my... All of my mana. Oh good, I had another ass eyes, which is a weird name. Seen the movie Your Name? I haven't, sadly. Um, I've heard it's great. Um, everyone has only said just the best things about it. So, I intend to watch it. Just got it yesterday. Got through the first sex scene. Noise. Yeah, it's on, on the train. That train section was pretty cool. <laughs> yes, my name's my name's a beer. An interest for grand strategy games, about 20 hours into Crusader Kings 2 and loving it. That's the kind of game I would play if I had much more free time. Um, I've got a friend who's super into Crusader Kings. She'll tell me all about, like, her political machinations to, to take over Europe, and it's it's pretty cool to, to hear about. Um, but I have not gotten into it myself. She dead? She's dead. Alpha, no, I need your help. Let's carry this corpse away. Subside bot? I think it's been a while, man. Welcome. Oh, cast his healing sparkles. Whatever that'll do, just caught a, a sword hilt to the face. My lord, the prisoners! Oh, man, she's not done. See to your men, Pylus. Who's Pylus? Is another armor guy? Nope. Oh my god. As you command, He's got a fucking villain theme. Now that's pretty classic Final Fantasy shit. That's very Kefka stuff. Subbit has a five dollar. Oh, oops. I didn't see that you subbed. Sorry, man. That was one of the things I liked a lot about Six. I mean, the music, the musical arrangement was first of all just awesome, but the way they used it very good as well. 
There's a little preamble to the Kefka theme that would always roll before you'd come in, and you're like, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh! Son of a bitch! Kefka was an awesome villain, that's what I'm saying. Why can't y'alls just respect that Kefka was great? This guy's very cool and has cool fights. Look forward to them? Huh. I was kind of hoping, so in... This is not 14, but in Kingsglaive, the 15 movie, there were some pretty fucking cool fights that involved throwing around the weapons and then teleporting to them. There was some cool cool choreography rolling with that, and I was kind of hoping something something that used that would come around again, but I haven't seen anything. Doesn't mean it's not there, but I ain't seen it. Let me see here. I want to find something a little rollicking. I feel, I feel like a good rollick. Just a, s a solid rollick. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Six was outstanding. My girl loves seven and it drove me nuts. I love seven too. I love seven as well. But seven's got some issues. Not the perfect game. It's not as it's not as uniform as six. Seven's got some pretty weak parts, but it's still great, and I think the the like the soundtrack is still super on point, and the Midgard section of the game is is legendary. But some of the like more Final Fantasy parts of it not so good. And that was also like that was when Nomura started getting into writing, and you can kind of tell. The first sort of Kingdom Heartsy Final Fantasy. The rest of them were... Like, the the magic was there, and it had its own rules, but most of the drama was in the actual um, politics, or the, the human drama of it. Seven started trying to rat... Seven dipped into more to, like, supernatural stuff. Like, there is drama here because the rules are the ones driving it, not the people... And that's when I sort of I don't I don't latch on as hard. Uh, my name's Beer. Any thoughts on Kingdom Hearts? A few, none worth listening to. I don't know. It's it's a fun game. Uh, I like the game part of it. The story is just impressive. Is I think the most complimentary word I can sum it up. Let's see here. I feel like this track's good. Hmm, I think that might be a little too old school. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Alright, this, this is some pretty classic... <sighs> Shit, I don't even know what genre this is. Fuck it, who cares? Who cares? Cybot. Thank you for your money. Please enjoy your bot-like music. Old bleepy bloops are the best bleepy bloops sometimes. Alright, back to this evil motherfucker being evil. That is such a great villain track. Your friends were a disappointment. But you... You will entertain me, will you not? You bought a Gundam silent? Bought a Gundam on Amazon? You done did it. You did a chance to play Dishonored 2. Um... I did. I didn't get very far. Because that game is intense. Man. Arcane is holding it down. They make... They make the real games for the real gamers. Dishonored 2 is legit. Prey is legit. Those are some... Thick-ass hard games. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How intimidating. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up, bruv. I'm gonna fuck you up! I like that. They're like lined up. It's Final Fantasy! I love it. Just little things like that. Like your party lining up in like a angled line. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill him, sure. We'll end the war right now. I'm doing so much damage to him. 
in one of those scripted battles. So Final Be Fantasy. Gone. Vein Splitter. This one's gonna hurt. Hit. Oh shit! Woo! Okay. Ow. Still up. Give me something to remember. What is this? Are you? Oh. Fuck, you teleported! Oh. Okay. Eh, that's not so bad. Oh, shit. Alright, that's bad. That's worse. That's much worse. You gotta knock out at least some of them. Jesus. What the fuck is this? Why do you keep summoning summon a magic sword? I don't like this. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, God. Please. Alright. Kinda wanted to see that one though. Fuck. I'm gonna get hit. Ow! Oh, this is so bad. Thank you for the reset, Turbid. I fought this guy for like an hour. That might work. Get out of here with these stupid swords. Five hundred and twenty-one damage. Don't stop now. I want to see what that attack looks like. Though. Is this gonna be this? Okay. Oh, he's gonna push me into it. Now. All right. Well, my uh, my curiosity has been slated, slacked. Fuck! I can't cast fast enough. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, whatever. I don't think these kill me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Beer. I don't have a clue what's happening in this game other than generic MMO shit. Never watched FIFA 14 before. Yeah. Yeah, your generic MMO shit is more or less correct. Shit, man. Ugh. To dodge him. Xenos Ye Galvis is the emperor of an invading nation and also apparently a pretty righteous badass because he's throwing weather swords into the ground and then throwing lightning and hurricanes at me. Ah, shit. Shit. Thought there'd be space. There's some space. He's just playing with me, though. He's, uh, he's too strong. You see, he's just having fun. I'm not doing shit. I don't know what I have to do. Do I just wait him out here? What's going on? Well, it's got to end in 14 minutes, so... Concent concentrativity? Oh, it's that. Ow. Sure. <laughs> this is like other Final Fantasy games where he'll have multiple forms. That does happen. I don't know about this guy. But I've certainly been in many a raid fight with a, like, world-ending weird god creature that has several forms and phases. Yeah, Eris Bat. I've been on 14. I mean, I played 1.0, and it was trash. But ever since uh, Realm Reborn came out, I've been playing this game semi-regularly. I can never get into RPGs like Final Fantasy. The combat system ruins so different from cutscenes during the river. Ah, shit. Combat system... I think I see- I think I see what you mean. Calum. Fuck, man! Oi. Damn. Does your character have the 1.0 tattoo? It's not the same character, but I did import that dude to be a 
retainer. What's the 1.0 tattoo? Oh man, when's the nothing personal kid? Personnel kid attack? I don't know. I'm kind of waiting on something to happen here. I've pretty much seen all of his attacks at this point. I don't know how long we're going to drag this out. I didn't... Oh, it missed? So you dodge AOEs, folks! Do you think you'll play Star Fox 2 when it, get, when it gets uh, an official release? Nah. Not really. Today I found out women are freaking out of COD character or uh, women characters in the new COD. Oh, why? Because it's World War II and it's not realistic? I always love that. It's about the realism! You know, like people really ran around in World War II and got 20 headshots in a row and called in a bunch of dogs! Is that real? Yeah. Oh man, video games. Fuck, I got- I ate everything that time. No women in war? What if you see one, you get a boner. That's a good point! Our fighting boys can't be dealing with all those boners. Are we finally done? Okay. Yeah, very serious consequences. Can't aim. Can't aim with all those boners. Getting in the way of your shot. You want clean shots, no boners. You gotta sleep, Captain Under Your Pants. Oh. You got fucked, little guy. Boom, dead. Uh-oh. My squishy little tiny body broke your sword. Hehe. <laughs> Eat it. Pathetic. Your sword broke! You don't get to say that. On the other hand, you could stabilize your gun on your massive dick. You couldn't! Massive dicks throb! You'd have to be an excellent marksman to shoot off of a unstable penis like that. You got here just in time. You only have one arm, dude. Give it a rest. It's a cool helmet, though. I'll give him that. Shall we give chase, General? Late night wreck. You can watch all the cutscenes you skipped. Did you just want to get to the dungeons? Nay. There has been enough death this day. See to the wounded. I have, uh... I thought about doing that. Aye, sir. Because in the past I've tried really hard to follow the story and haven't been able to. But... I've said this before, but... I've been told by oh, multiple blood. trusted sources that Stormblood actually has a really great... Really great story. Oh, my poor little dude, he's so hurt. Poor little guy. He, you know, he's, he's a flippant little dude. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no ordinary foe could best the likes of you. Red kick flips. <laughs> Let's start his Call of Duty and then everyone would realize I tricked them into playing Life is Strange. That'd be awesome. That's that's the first step, though, isn't it? You make women playable in multiplayer, then all of a sudden you're you're a teen girl trying to work through your slightly homosexual feelings towards your friend. That's how it happens. That's how. That's why you, you, you've you got to get red pilled. Wake up! Hold on! Wake up, sheeple! I'm trying to mind control you. It's a woman's world. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Alpano, Master Kemp is all yours. Understood. Oh, don't just stand there gawping. You're a healer, aren't you? Huh. I kind of am. I guess. I'm actually gonna heal in a cutscene? Weird. 
wonder what happens if you're just a DPS. Standing there with 18 swords. You can't really use that line. You're here, aren't you? Uh, drop, a, drop a bunch of swords on her. Half of them go in. Uh... Yeah, I always blame the healer. The worst is past, That's right. Fuck off, Kryl. No Jesus. More. Maybe she shouldn't have been standing in the DPS. Huh? Jesus. Camp 2 would be better served in the infirmary. Let us take them there without delay. You mean the gay agenda in Assassin's Creed Rouge? I didn't know there was a Give gay a agenda in Rouge. Rouge. I, haven't, I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> Bro can eat my ass. I know you must be exhausted, but there will be others who need our help. Leave these two to us and look to the other wounded. Yeah, people who can avoid a goddamn attack now and then. <sighs> Until you learn how to not get hit, you stay on the ground. Let me get the article. Oh, man. Speaking of females in war, I saw this video of... Oh, yeah. Dr. Levin, I saw that. Yeah, the, the fucking... the bullet just hits, like, right here. And she's not... she doesn't shit herself immediately. <sighs> Fuck. She reacts like she almost spilled something on her shirt. Yeah, it was... Damn. I... I curled into a ball in my chair. But she was like, hoo hoo, that was close! I'm like, motherfucker, your head just almost exploded! You don't get to say that! You don't get to act like that right now! Damn! Oh, I got shook just watching a gif! Shit, man, if I were there, I would have lost it. Ugh. And again, I've never been shot at, so who knows how I would react. No, I'd shit myself. Absolutely shit myself. <laughs> All the mods on the stream were made mods so they wouldn't couldn't get banned due to shitposting. It's true. No, hey. I fully license and endorse shitposting. That's why Cookie basically comes in here and posts gifs of, like, tits exploding into each other. Can you comment on the term La Rummies? It's not- doesn't roll off the tongue. But I guess La Rummies wouldn't. Trying to decide how much of a pregnant pause to leave after that one. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, man. Fucker's dead! Somebody that had a name just died! Man, the sad music, too. Aww. This youth is so sad. And there's Banana Peel. <laughs> oh, it's so sad! At least I have you, Banana Peel. <laughs> Oh, this game's great. I'm looking around for stupid names. There's usually a few. Usually a few in eye shot. Yeah, it's a sad version of this of this town's theme. Man. This is the kind of thing I probably tr would have tried to learn on piano for ten years ago. But it ain't, and I got video games to play. Told you, Nash, I already said your name. Did you forget? You forgot, didn't you? Shows you how important it was. Akuyasha Erotica? Five Finger Death Punch. Yes! I'm gonna give you a little burb. You still stuck with Silver and Overwatch? Yeah, I'm climbing up, though. Most of the matches I... I'm not sitting on an ore, Brad Kickflips. I'm sitting on an Easter egg that opens and a little bunny or a little bird pops out and it goes back in. Um, also, it leaves a trail of glitter behind. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think, I think I've gotten to the point where I, I will sort of climb and rank. But uh, I just needed to get humbled a little bit, I think.
I don't know. It's one of those things, like, I can feel like I'm not that bad, but if that's where the game puts me, it doesn't matter, you know? Sort of se both, uh, like, separate my need for the game to validate my skill, but also acknowledge that if that's where the game's ranking me, then that's just the game I play. And whether I think I'm better than that doesn't change the fact that, you know, the win is all that matters. So, what's your Overwatch level? B bad. I'm like mid-1700s. I could probably get to gold if I kept at it, but... This is my first comp season and I got placed high at silver, one game away from gold. That's where I started too, but uh, tanked soon after. We are watched me so we can climb out of silver and rise up. Though we constantly yell at each other because it clearly wasn't our own fault when we do lose and get down to bronze. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Same here, but I'm actually bad. Karen, I'm pretty sure I'm bad too. I'm coming around to it. Oh, the 1 to 100 and prestige star level. Got you, sorry. I just got my very first star on PC, but I'm also like level 60 something on Xbox. Because I play with Steph a lot on Xbox. So it's split. I kind of feel like I should have dedicated to one platform or another, but whatever. You play a lot of support and comp. If so, you get wrecked at skill points. People say that. Uh, Jeffy Caps swore that wasn't the case. But, um... No, I, I, I usually play Ryan. Ryan, and then I'll, I'll, I'll swing to Orisa if there's, like, a Pharah that my team just can't deal with. Or if it re like, if my DPS... Just can't close anything out. And then I'll switch to Arisa. Butler, you're taking off? Go, oh, man. Thanks for hanging loose. Uh, the big... I guess the big thing with me is if I play Ryan, and none of my team is using Ryan, like, nobody goes to him for cover, nobody pushes in with him, um... And, like... Maybe... And this, this is kind of where I'm at right now, you know? If... If the rest of my team is playing Lone Wolf, and I want to win... Do I play Lone Wolf? Do I try and help them? Do I get on voice chat and try to talk them out of that? And be like, okay guys, let's try this wacky thing. Let's push as a team for once instead of just running in and dying. I don't know. I don't know. And again, it's all about the win. It doesn't matter what's right or wrong or what's expected. But, yeah. Honestly, oddly enough, once I got to the first star level, I started getting paired up with much better people. I went up like 500 SR a few days after that. Might have just been a placebo effect, but it seriously felt like a real change happened. Maybe. I just embraced Junkrat and Winston since I can't aim for shit. Well, luckily for you, Winston's a pretty good tank right now. Oh, you're drinking Lafarig? That's a Scotch, right? And I probably, I probably slaughtered the name. It's probably like Lafag or something. But anyway, nice to talk. Nice to meet you, Rum Geek. <sighs> okay, hold on. I gotta read this text now. Oh, he's got survivor's guilt now. <gasps> His expressions are cute. What I've heard on the topic is that the best way to win when your team is playing Lone Wolf, you just try to support them as much as possible. Uh, yeah. I didn't skip it immediately, I read it. Um, yeah, I've tried that. I've tried that. I've tried, like, mercying for a, a pack of DPS, and they just can't fucking shoot anything. Um, or they shoot the wrong thing, you know? No amount of support is going to help you when your DPS is shooting a Roadhog that's also getting healed by Mercy. It's just, okay, you're just throwing your damage into the garbage. PD Island... I, PD Islay Whiskey. That's the other thing. I don't know how to... S Islay. I don't know. Is that how you say it? Islay? Islay? Isle? I don't know. Our defeat was no near thing. It was total. A humiliation. We were powerless to withstand our enemy's assault. I kind of like this, in terms of, like, game pacing. Because it was like, oh, things are looking up, we got recruits, and all of a sudden the Emperor's just like, nah, we're just gonna kill you all. Well, we'll just put this to bed right now. What do you think of the new Reaper patch? Oh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, the, uh, like, the, the healing is not as intense as it sounds on paper. You gotta play pretty clean. Um, to, to like self-heal his Reaper with his guns now. Isla. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, for educating me. Uh, cause I, I tried to... There was an Isla, uh, what was it? There was some rum drink 
that... No? What was it? I can't remember. Anyway. There was a, a cocktail that had that in it. Uh, and I was I really wanted to try it, but they were out. Yes. Man, we're just gonna fucking pack up and run, huh? That's pretty smart. I guess. Alright, round up all the dead. We gotta get out of here. Man. They're still doling out side quests here. I'm just kind of funky. Maybe they're not actually... Oh, shit. Oh, man. You're not looking too good. Oh, man. Christ. That's raunchy. Just like, yeah, my mom told me not to come, and I almost died. And I feel bad. <laughs> Tell her she was right. Fuck. Oh, who's this? Hot Doc! Morella, you say? What's going on, Hot Doc? I got a fever. I don't remember how to go into first person in this game. There it is. She got a beauty mark and everything. And a monocle! My god. It's kind of like she's she's touching me. Think about it. Yes. No. Way too short. Never mind. This game has some really good sound design. Hip moves, the uh The music is I wanna say at least fifty percent of why I play this game. It's well, it's extremely well written, and they have some pretty amazing reorchestrations of classic Final Fantasy music that pop up time to time. It's the same sort of thing that makes me wiggly whenever I just buzz around in 15 listening to old tra soundtracks. Pretty sure I'm still stuck on Dancing Mad from Final Fantasy VI, but... The word cocktail is going to remind me I missed, the, missed out on the always open happy hour thing for RTX. Yeah, I would... I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I, I can get squeezed into that. That's such a cool idea. Man, Barbara's awesome. Yeah, but yeah, doing like a cocktail happy hour to benefit charity. <sighs> Some of that stuff just makes my heart hurt. Like, ah, why didn't I think of that or do that? I'm just sitting here on my ass playing a video game. There are kind people out trying to help. They do cool stuff. Got a funhouse postcard in the mail inviting you back to RTX Sydney. Huh! That's kind of cool. What does it look like? If I can drink for charity. <laughs> right? It's it is the perfect idea. Man, I'd pay I'd pay money for that. They were like only 5 bucks too. I mean, I'm sure you have to buy the drinks, obviously. But I wouldn't, man, I would feel so good about buying overpriced cocktails if I knew that three or four bucks of each would go to, like, a charity that I actually know and support. You know what? Fuck, man, why can't I just do that? You know? God. I could do a stream where I drink, and each drink that I take, I put some of my donation money in the jar. It doesn't even have to be a stream. I can just do it whenever I want. Man. What a way to c convince myself that I'm doing something noble while I'm just getting fucked up. Barbara, you're a genius. I'll have to workshop that idea a little bit. I saw one dude had a, uh, drink for every resub. Man. So, there was one streamer, and I don't know, I don't know who, but he basically had this, like, giant mixing bowl full of the little airplane bottles of liquor. And whenever somebody would donate, he'd just, like, fish around and, and knock one back. And I'm just like, that is a cool idea! That is a cool idea! Uh... Maybe I can do something like that. Uh, that's gonna end up being a lot of liquor. Oh, Jeremy Dooley! Yes, Dr. Eleven, thank you. That, that's exactly who. Uh, yeah, I was watching some of his streams and I was like, fuck, man. That's really smart. Don't drink anymore, just smoke. Could do that too. Once, you know, 2018 rolls around. The problem with that is, yeah, vape for every resub. So the problem with that is, 
at a certain point, it's just not... Like, you're, you're just barely conscious. And I guess that, like, there's no tail on <laughs> over-vaping or over-weeding. You just sort of fall asleep. Or become very quiet. Uh, I don't know, and then it's like, what happens if the, the social paranoia sets in? That'd be rough, man. But I guess that'd be fun for you guys. So yeah, I don't know. Gotta watch out, I've seen some straight up pass out on stream when Majin Phil rated him with 1k followers. You mean like, they drank too much? Wake up to 20 missed subs? Jose Cuervo or Sky Vodka? Ah, uh, it depends. Uh, is it mixing or drinking straight? I'm growing a fondness for liquors that have flavor. But you know, if, if you're mixing or you can mix it away with vodka's A number one. <laughs> Oh, doctor, yeah, I hear you. Living in Texas won't be able to legally smoke for like another 25 plus years. I don't even want to smoke all the time, just like once a weekend and I'd be so happy. I hear you, dude. I used to live in Texas. Um, I don't know. California is pretty great in a lot of those a lot of those ways. I know that, um, I can't remember, I think it might have been Zaxby who was telling me that some of this stuff has changed, but... Damn, you can buy vodka in a gas station. It's great. Oh, there were... They were monsters. He offered to take a shot for every $10 donated, then he received $200 in five minutes. Oh, that is rough. So that's, yeah, that's the sort of thing, like, drinking games can be huh, can be hard. This is why it's tough to, to come up with rules for Funhouse drinking games. Because you have to do it on something that, like, it's got to have a window, right? A scalable window. But you want it to land somewhere in between, like, maybe four to eight shots an hour. Yeah, no, nah, that's a little low. 48 shots every... 45? I don't know, whatever, who cares. Um, but yeah, if you if you set your sights low because you're not expecting much, people will blow you up like that. And then what are you going to do? You can't be a bitch. You gotta, you gotta drink your way out. Sometimes Kingdom Hearts can be a little dense about that with the rule set that I'm playing it under. What's your favorite alcoholic drink? I don't know that I have a favorite. I... Hmm. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. It shifts, you know? And just depending on whatever mood I'm in at the time. Where did the E3 livestream donations go? To you all or a slush fund? No, they go to us. That was... Those were, uh, YouTube Super Chat. Power Chat? Super Chat. So yeah, it just goes to our channel, which I think gets paid out through YouTube. Which, in turn, goes to Rooster Teeth, so... That is where that money went. Growing up in Louisiana, alcohol was never hard to come by growing up, honestly. Drive through daiquiri shops are super common there, like 10 alone in the town where I'm from. Yeah, Louisiana is super open with booze, it's great. Can you open carry everywhere, or is it just New Orleans? With the pic of a postcard on Twitter and Imager. Either one. I don't really mind. Either way, I get to see it. And Bernie got paid. Yeah, they went all right. They went right to Bernie's bank account. Blowgun. Why am I using a blowgun? What is this all about? What are we doing? Is it a mini game? Open carry almost everywhere. That's that's something that. This is a weird minigame. That's something that I could see, uh... Like, that's the one thing I can think California could could improve upon. Letting me just carry a beer down the street. I still don't think most cops would hassle me if I was... civilized about it. Oh, there it is. Just can't drive with an open container? Gotcha. It's so common cops will really bother anyone unless they're being belligerent. Yeah, I have to, I mean, that, that varies by area, I imagine. Alright. Cool. What's the deal with Steven Subtick? Is he now a part of Rooster Teeth? In a way, I suppose. He is a Let's Play Network partner. So Rooster Teeth has a YouTube network. Um... And while I, I don't know the specifics, uh, because I'm not part of the network, I'm an employee, uh, they basically get 
It's, I don't know exactly what the deal is, and I probably shouldn't know, to be honest, but it's, it's some sort of arrangement where Rooster Teeth shares revenue. So, like, Rooster Teeth will handle the merch, they'll handle the marketing of the merch, they'll handle, like, booking for Let's Play Lives and coming to RTX and things like that. They'll help them sell inventory space on their podcasts, help them sell their shows, um, and then in return, you know, they, they lend their brand power to Rooster Teeth. Yeah, same level is kind of funny. Exactly. Although those those entities may have different deals in terms of revenue shares and stuff like that. I don't know. Again, don't think I need to know. But yeah, that is the idea. So that's uh, that's where he's at. And well, so Sugar Pine Seven is partnered with Rooster Teeth. I think Steven Subtick still has his own independently owned channel that he runs. How long did it take to get to level 60? I don't know. I don't know. I did it as uh, uh, in Realm Reborn, and I don't really recall. Is Couchup also part of the network? Yes. Everyone except Achievement Hunter and Funhouse are partnered. We are owned. So they can do whatever they want with us, whenever they want. It's not a bad thing. That's just how it checks out, though. Rem, you going? Rem Geek going off about Realm, huh? I love it. When will you be on fan service? We need you on that show. I don't know. Um, just the timing has never worked out. Uh, I've been in town for other other projects, but you know we end up flying out before the show starts, or just not available in that day. I'd love to be on it, even though those guys can talk circles around me when it comes to anime in general. Is it better to be partnered or owned? That depends. Um, depends on what you want to do, and what you want to spend your time on, and, like, assurances. So yeah, there's not really a, a single correct answer with that. I think if you want to... So you don't have a safety net, and you have to pay for your own insurance and things like that. Um, but, if you're partnered, you own your brand. And you could, theoretically, sell it someday if you wanted to. There, There is, like, there is the possibility to get ridiculously rich and cash out on a brand that you spend years creating. Um, we don't have that option. We, um, and, and that's not a bad thing for me, because I, you know, both, both as a third party and then also working for them have hard for me to imagine a better future for me than working at Rooster Teeth as long as I possibly can. Because um, they've they've been great to work with on basically every level I can think about. Alright. So yeah, I mean, if I'm not partnered, theoretically... I have the liberty of going to Rooster Teeth and saying, like, hey, uh, I'm really enjoying working on Funhouse, but I'd like to do some other stuff, too. Like, find some new roles for me, or these are the things I'm interested in, please try and move me into that. Um, so, let, you know, if I was like, I just really like doing podcasts. Just let me launch a few more podcasts, and maybe I'm not in Funhouse as much. As long as what I do is valuable to the company, I think I have faith that people at Rooster Teeth would find a, find a way for me to, to work for them. Um... So yeah, or if it's like I want to, you know, I want to write a live action show and stuff like that. I I think that even partners have that freedom as well, but it's more complicated. Uh, so just being being owned in that way is a benefit. Let's see here. I thought I got a new weapon. I did. I just never equipped it. Man, stupid. I can get this big glow stick off my back. Oh, my item level shooting on up. Let's take a look at that new weapon. Maker's Mark is good. I like Maker's Mark. It's not rum, though. Bacardi 8-year-old is one of the best rums in the world, despite being a typically shitty brand. Huh. Interesting. I don't know much about rum. For me, uh, my only knowledge with rum has to do with, like, tiki drinks. So, they're surrounded by appropriate fruit juices and stuff that the rum is just there for, you know, the flavor profile. Since it's mixed with such sweet stuff, you can't really pick up on it. 
Names of Pierre says, since Funhouse is owned and not partnered, all of your business aspects will be run through Rooster Teeth. That is correct. I'm a finance major and have looked for Funhouse internships for the business side instead of production. I feel that would be an all, all in Austin. You are correct. We, I mean, we do some business stuff on our end. It's mostly, it's mostly the sort of thing where we're like, hey, basically, if we ask Rooster Teeth to own a part of that process, they're pretty good about letting us do it. If we feel like we can do it better or faster or more accurately than somebody in Austin, purely due to the geographic separation. Um, you know, there, there's some aspects to it that. that we're better equipped to just handle right away. But there, you're right, you are correct in that there is a division of responsibility there and a division of work. We do not, we don't handle biz dev, if that makes any, any sense. Tiki drinks can be really intricate and amazing. There are a few bars in California that really nail out a genius tiki drink. I've gone to a few in Southern California, mostly because Stephanie loves them. And I've grown to appreciate them as well. There's not a whole lot in this world that's wrong with getting a really strong, really delicious cocktail from from like a woman with sleeve tattoos and fire truck red lipstick with just great hair and just an awesome dress, listening to like rockabilly and having people just a bunch of people chill out and be happy. T tiki bars are, are rad places. I'd love to go to more bars and get great cocktails, but money, yeah, plus one, no, it's... Drinking out is special occasion stuff, or you're living pretty good. You're living pretty good and you can just swing that way. I suppose I could, but I don't know. I think I think because of my broke days, I'll always have a soft spot for getting drunk at home. <laughs> Kat Von D, yeah. The Rob Roy, the Gold Dust Lounge, the Mistral Kitchen, only great Mai Tais and Zombies. Huh. I haven't been to any of those places. All in San Diego. Okay. Next time I'm in the area, I'll have to try and check it out. Here in LA, we've got, you know, we've got uh, Trader Sam's, a Disneyland hotel, which is awesome. At least by my, pres I, you know, I'm not, I'm not an expert. There's Don the Beachcomber, which I haven't been to, but Stephanie has. Uh, Tiki No and Tiki Tea are both really good. Quaint. Intimate. And I guess, yeah, there's that new one now, Pacific Seas, the one that opened inside, uh, Ah, uh, the cafeteria. How am I blanking on this? Clifton's. There we go. Lost Lake in Chicago is also great. It's one of those speakeasy style places. That's awesome. Yeah. When I when I stayed in San Francisco, there was a tiki bar across the street, and it was closed every day I was there. Fucking pissed me off. Griffin wanted to stop in before bed and say thanks again for your sub hype songs. Cool. First your Grimes, Penguin Prison, and Panama Wedding on your stream, and they are still on my go-to playlist on Spotify. Thanks for showing me some great music. Well, hey. Thank you for uh, thank you for checking it out. Thank you for following up. It's happening. It's a real MMO because I gotta go kill some rats. Oh, hello, Tom Zor. Trying to learn to make more cocktails at home. Plus, it really turns into me drinking cheap rocket straight because effort and money. Yeah, most most of my cocktail mixing when I was cheap, or when I was, uh, I'm still cheap, <laughs> when I was broke, um, if, if it was like a long night, I would, I would go to the uh, Asian grocery store and just get like one of those jugs of soju, because man, I think I like soju drunk better than wine drunk, but soju's also pretty caloric, but it's, oh, it's so good, it's one of the, it's not really a liquor, you know, it's like 20%, but it's one of those that I could probably just drink all night. Um, even, like, any straight liquor, after a while, I'm just like, okay, this is just too much intensity. Uh, but yeah, it was that, or, like, man, when I won't, or, like, the Lawrence or whatever, Everclear and Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, Ryan, tried to make cocktails, ended up too lazy and just drink whiskey now. Yeah, that works. That works, too. What? I'll try it again. Alright, that time it worked. Oh yeah, this is a... This was an... Aether Current quest. You unlock... 
I drank a full bottle and felt like death within an hour. What, a full bottle of soju? Hello, Bode. You catching me next stream? Cool, man. See you then. This is pay to win MMO? Uh, I don't think so, Flat Hell. I think you can, you can skip your character up by paying. Which is to say, like, let's say you bought it now. You basically have two games to play through first before you can even start Stormblood. Um, because the story is linear and you can't really just jump around. So you can buy a thing that skips you up in the story quest. You went to Metroid? Yes. So you're going to stream any of the new ones? Yes. Sorry if you catch a lot of questions like this. I don't. Ooh, hold on. Fat cat and let me click on this link. Oh, cool. They use the, uh... I didn't know that's what that was. That's pretty cool. They use the, um, the doodle from our Funhouse panel. Man, that's great. And it's got me doing the shoey on there. <laughs> the Melbourne Shuffle. Trump fighting the kangaroo. That was a pretty great panel. There's a tardigrade on there. There he is. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, and there's me sitting there with all those beers next to me. Oh, yeah, I did a thongy, too. Man, memories. That's a really cool postcard. I like that. That's that's a pretty class move. Box wine is great, too. Yeah, Mitch Elgul, you got it. This game isn't pay to win at all flat. Yeah, I I wanted to classify it. People that get upset about pay to win get upset about the slightest hint of pay to win. So I just wanted to be thorough in my explanation. I didn't want to sound like I was misdirecting anybody. Oh, a thongy? Yeah, so it's like a shoey but through a thong or a sandal. It was called thongy on the thing, so. Oh, never had soju? Um, had the problem of buying flavored vodka and after a while it tastes good. College is so rad. Oh, yeah. Pinnacle is your friend when you're cheap. Box wine is great, yeah. I mean, get like Pinnacle Whip and uh, either Diet, Sunkissed, Sunkissed, Orange Juice. You can go, n go nuts there. Cold Juice Grand Creek because it's dirt cheap? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can buy a lot of. I mean, that's why. I mean, shit, man, in Koreatown in LA. That's why it was the cheapest liquor. And I got I got all up on Jinro, man. A Jinro Fresh. Did you finish 15? I fell off of it. Wasn't a huge fan of the guys, especially the main guy. Yeah, Noctis is kind of a kind of a bitch. But that's the point. The game's about him learning to not be a bitch. Um, it's there's a lot of subtext to that story that they don't ever say out loud. And that's kind of why it's easy to sort of fall out of it. Oh, he's gotta lecture people on how important the quarry is. No one's listening to you, old man. Hey, doctor. <laughs> hey, Noxus just doesn't want to eat vegetables, yeah. He just wants, uh... Just wants mac and cheese and chicken nuggets, or whatever. French fries, that's right. He just wants big old plates of french fries every night. God damn it, Noctis. Oh, wait, no, that was Ignis. I can't remember, damn it. I can't remember my boy's food tastes. They're gonna eat it and like it. Hmm. Wow. Damn. Old man whining about the quarry. Young person's like, that shit don't matter no more. I gotta go home. Robots do it now. Jesus. How dare you play 15 and not eat shrimp ramen every night? How dare you? I'm saving the shrimp ramen. I get a lot of, get a good boost off that. Their rock ain't no good. Our old rock was better. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to go to the quarry and kill 15 rats or something. Yep, 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 yep. You're damn lucky that there's an aether current in this for me. There's boys over bears over flowers. God, what a great quest name. Oh, back to Cast Castrum Orions. Yeah, Rare Rum Geek. I've been trying to get into, uh... I've been trying to get back to game reviewing. I really enjoyed that. It wasn't very hard. It's just kind of on me to, to push all that stuff through. Um, but I think I will do that more. 
So, it's weird to... <sighs> Reviews are weird. That's sort of the, the traditional way that games media interfaces with games PR. That's changing a lot. A lot of companies are getting pretty good about understanding and handling... Um... That's interesting, they just... They just like kind of brushed over that in the alpha mask. Well, anyway. Um... There's a lot of soft benefit to making reviews for games, even if they're bad. Let me make that clear. It doesn't matter. Um, but it does help you build relationship with games PR, which then helps you either get play games early and make media about them early, or uh, get access to like games people or games events. There are soft benefits associated with that. So it's something that I'm kind of keeping in mind too. Like it would help us get more connected, um, which may help us do... Uh, that stuff doesn't necessarily help, bizarrely. It's more like collaborating with other other media types that actually really does help grow stuff. So, yeah, Joker, man, if I could just drink and talk about games, damn. Um, I don't know. I think I think I've already pushed my luck too hard with the lifestyle that I have right now. But man, if I could come up with some sort of media that could perform well, that's the hard part. Because I could just do it and it'd be bad and no one cares. But if I can come up with a show concept where I just get drunk and talk about video games. I guess that's this, right? <laughs> Most nights. Um, yeah, you're right, Doctor. You got there before I did. It's just the streams, man. Well, there you go. I'm all right. I already do it and it is what it is. Except I, I've been drinking a lot less. The thing is, believe it or not, one of the things that helps motivate me to diet, to not eat, is that I tell myself when I get to the weight that I want, when I get to like maintenance mode, then I can drink more. Like that can be the, the calories that I reintroduce into my diet to put me back to maintenance and not to a loss. So if I do like 1700 most days, on the weekends I can probably drink a lot more because I'll be down for the week and that'll put me back to normal or whatever. Not the healthiest way to live, in fact one of the worst, but fuck man I can cash in on it while I'm still young and my liver works. I don't know. I'm not, uh... Not quite at the point yet where I'm worried about my body giving out on me. Especially since, as much as I joke about it, I really don't drink that much anymore. There was a year there it was pretty harsh, but, you know, divorces will do that to you. Will every stream my summer car by yourself? Because I really want to see something actually happen in that game. Me too. Were it not for the swift actions of the Scions and the Alliance, many more would have died. You risked your lives to save ours, and for that we thank you. But I kind of, I kind of like playing it with, with Funhouse. It's pretty great. There is no need for thanks. We are allies, are we not? Aren't we? Are. Aye, just so. Let us not dwell on this tragedy, but look to the future. I don't know there's much of a future, bro. You're like, main outpost got smashed, a ton of people died, entire country's demoralized. I'm yeah. sorry, General, but there is no future for us. You tell him, Conrad, you're it done. Was too many. Gods, I can still see Mefrid with that woman standing over him. <laughs> They've ripped the heart out of his General. Shit. They've broken us. Shit. Our fight is over. Shit. Harsh words, man. Master Kemp, please. Bennett, recently lost 40 pounds and I've been going to the gym, so I'm gaining back some weight, and it's so hard to not tell if it's muscle weight or if I'm eating too much. Bennett, yeah, that can be scary. Um, I... James says this to me a lot, and I don't think I'm at the point yet, but there's definitely a point where the number stops mattering. It's more about how you look. Um, and if you look in the mirror, and you don't see a lot of body fat, uh, but you see muscle, like, that's good. Um, and I think, yeah, if you've been going to the gym and lifting, and if your lifts are, if you're getting gains, you have to be developing muscle. It may be under fat, so it may be hard to see, but I would I'll say trust the math. Them with every fiber of my being. Oh man. For what they took from us then Poor and Conrad. now, our homeland, our freedom, our bloody children. But yeah, if, uh, if you're tracking your diet, you don't Green have to. Skulls. The youths who fight for Xenos. I don't think you have to worry about it. Oh, hey, Penguin Drums. Yeah, I hear you, man. Hopefully I can be adequate background noise for you. The Black Wolf's legacy Good luck with your studying. Shame. 
a unit made up of children born to Alamegan dignitaries who came of age during the occupation. Sons and daughters of Gia Abania, raised to be proud citizens of the Empire with all the rights and responsibilities that entails. Is there a way to gain muscle without losing weight, or at least not too much? Yes, in fact, that's the harder thing to do, Topher. So, I'm not a doctor, not a nutritionist, I'm nothing. But, the, the accepted wisdom that I've heard a lot and makes sense to me, is that if you undereat, you can lose body fat, but you're going to lose mu a little muscle mass too. Your body either grows or shrinks, based on how you eat. If you eat and lift weights, your body will put on muscle mass and fat. It's called a bulk. Um, and then, then, so this is why, like, weightlifters go on cycles. They bulk, and then they cut. So they overeat, which tells their body it's okay to grow, because you have a, a surplus of nutrition. You get big, you get a little doughy, but your muscles get big, and then you cut. You cut calories, and work out hard, or, like, do cardio, so that you burn off the fat as fast as you can, leaving the muscle mass largely untouched. And you go back to bulk. So it's like you pick up chunks of chunks of gains every time dark apple says thanks for the chill stream on these toasty and quiet la nights hey dark apples you are welcome my dude thanks It'll for hanging easy out easy to curse them and call them traitors but there are children our flesh and blood if the only way to forge the future we want is to cut down our own then has have adam and you ever discussed taking turns on for demo disc or is that usually adam's thing and you only step in when he can uh, I don't know that we've discussed it, but I think he's really good at it, so I don't ask to. I like playing video games, and I'll always say yes if people ask me, but I think he's he's extremely talented at being that particular driver. And uh, what was it all for? purely for the sake of the the value of the show, I think it's better that he Loco, does it. So I've never really you say to asked the families about it. of the fallen, to the mothers <coughs> and the widows and the orphans. Will you tell them it was all for nothing? I think you just did. What's up, Jetman? Listen to the girl. We dare not suffer our comrades' sacrifices to have been in vain. Now is the time to steal our resolve and press on. Painful though it may be. Oh man, he's... And when Xenos comes back with his army? What then? This isn't the first time, you know. You'll be hard-pressed to find men brave or stupid enough to face him again. I still can't believe how strong he was. He humiliated us back there. The Warrior of Light included. Hey! Yeah, he does. God help us if he's next in line to the Garlean throne. Um, Reader says, can't seem to lose weight. I undereat. Go to the gym up to four times a week and do both cardio and lifting. Um, it's possible to think you're undereating and still overeat. Um, nothing really changes much, though, though I can run longer and lift more. Uh, track your diet. Write it down. Write every little bit down. Don't cheat. Um, actually do it. And I think you'll be shocked at how many Let calories you might actually be taking. We should not be surprised. Before succeeding Van Bailsar in Alamigo. I've told myself that I've, I was under eating and when I actually added it up I was somewhere like 26 2700 calories. And I thought I was being light. As a matter of fact, Dome remains a So, that tells you what the human body can take Suffice in when it, say, it doesn't think it's being light. A peerless warrior well, at least for me. General. The question is how are we to contend with such a foe? Doma? Oh, the other guy. Yeah, you're about to tell us, aren't you? Mr. Grand Tactician, let's hear your well, to put it fucking simply, thoughts, smarty pants. We have one legatus overseeing two provinces a world apart. I say we divide and conquer. We kindle the hmm. flames of revolution in Doma once more, thereby forcing Xenos to fight a war on two fronts. So wait, you're giving up on this country and gonna go try and... That's what you were trying to do here, Alphano. Come on. For that, there would need to be someone left to fight on this front by the time you got hmm. back. Look, I'll not deny the plan as promise. And I feel for our brothers and sisters in Dome. And cutting carbs? Them. That's a good place to start. But I fear we lack the strength to see it through. But it is 100% possible and even easy to overeat on no carbs. There are things like peanut butter, you know. Have brown feet. Your people, Master Kemp. Them and the Scions. Hold fast. Rebuild. And when all is in place, we shall defeat Xenos together. One small piece of fish a day and lots of salad. Is it a breaded, fried piece of fish? 
Does the salad have a lot of dressing and cheese on it? There's a lot of things, like... Human... I'm not, I'm not saying you're doing this, reader. I want to be super clear. But... Humans find ways to sneak calories into their diet that even they don't know. Even they don't think about. It's, uh... Your body has an amazing ability to if create blind to go, spots I'm for coming. you. I want to help our friends there. Make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Doma was in Final Fantasy VI. That was where Cyan was from, I think. Drafted my loft. How was your day, Lawrence? My day was great. Um... The... The... While they are rare, the time we need, and we will give you something far greater. There are times when I can just go into the office and just like play games and have fun and make cool shit all day, and those are the amazing days. And today was one of those days. Um, no dressing and the fish is cooked, not fried. If the if all you're eating is fish and vegetables, you you are the one in twenty thousand people that has a medical condition where you can't lose weight. That's possible. But I'm gonna Very say well. super unlikely. For all you have done for us, we will fight on. But be swift, comrades. Al amigo has suffered enough. I, Monster Huntress says you'd be shocked at how much cheese can sneak into things and how much they are worth in terms of calories. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, man, I, reader, I'm not trying to call you out or say that you're lying or anything. I'm just saying, if you really wanna, if you if you really wanna get to the bottom of it, the first step is to just write everything you eat down. And that means knowing the measurement of it, which means you got to get a kitchen scale. Or, like, cooking everything yourself. But, yeah. There's stuff like, you might be shocked at how little four ounces of meat actually is. I think... It just... if all Yeah, if all you're doing is, is eating lean meats and vegetables, it's nearly impossible to get fat off that. Unless you just go wild. And that would be a comical amount of fish. And... The calcium kickflips you go into the apparently the great milk debate I wonder if that's where I'm at with my metabolism 5'3", 23 years old and 115 never been able to really gain or lose weight my mother and brother are just a small genetics being a tiny person huh well at 23 it doesn't happen it's not gonna hit you yet some people get a pass some people get a pass on their youth uh, I do eat fruits watermelons and dry fruit dry fruit can be deceptive because it's dense what kind of great dry fruit and how much? I mean, it again, it doesn't matter. Write it down, prove it to yourself. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to like put you on trial or anything. Have you ever been offered to be the host of some series besides GTA with fans and dude soup, or would you want to be one? Um, I, I think, I guess I'm, I'm sort of Google Trends, sort of, but uh, sure. Mm. We don't do we don't do many content styles that require or ask for a host. But yeah, reader. Um, I mean, cheat days, cheat days included. If you really want to work the math out, just write everything down. Even even your cheat days, because it's it's possible but difficult. It's possible to eat back every last bit of, of like, under-calorie that you, you racked up. It's possible to sabotage yourself. It'd be difficult, again, if all you're eating is fish and vegetables, but... Man, this music is so good. Fucking bagpipes. Yeah. Oh, thank you, higher self. Appreciate... Appreciate that. But... I'm going to spit in the face of your compliment and stop streaming because it's getting a little late. It's getting a little late and I gotta be in the office early tomorrow. So I'm just gonna call it here, chill out for a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe relax, watch something, who knows. Oh yeah, that's right, they're airing GDQ reruns. That's fun. Chat's, chat's hell-bent on convincing everybody that it's live, which is amusing. They're not cracking down on chat so hard in the the reruns, so it's kind of fun to see some dudes get pretty hard internet in there. Oh, B, you just got here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude, but glad you went to the gym. Congratulations. Thank you for the dollar, hip. Appreciate that. And appreciate everybody hanging out, being cool, being chill. Interesting discussion.
It's more than I could ever ask for. Oh yeah, and MS2 3Ks on Twitch too. A lot of cool shit. A lot of cool shit. A lot of good background noise. Um, so if you need that, the world is the world is your oyster. I'll see you next time, guys. And um, hey, looking forward to RTX. If any of you guys are going. Um. Yeah. So, as far as I can tell right now, my schedule is a little lighter than it was last year, due to some like pretty smart rearranging of things. So I'm wondering, maybe I got more time to just sort of stomp around, just sort of monster the con. Not necessarily walk in hallways type thing, but maybe like, alright, it's like 9 o'clock, where's the party at? Like just bumping around to different people's parties, like crashing people's hotel rooms and stuff. That'd be fun? Something tells me I'd probably really regret doing that, but it seems like a good idea right now. Well, I'll let the community prove me wrong. Um, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in.